Well, you know, everybody loves Goa, undoubtedly. It is, you know, the most precious and, and sought for leisure, relaxation and rejuvenation destination in India. But do you know that even after India's independence on 15th August 1947 from the British, Portugal continued to hold the districts of Goa, Daman and Diu and, and Dadar and, and Nagar Haveli collectively known as the Estado da India. It took India almost 15 years or a little more to get Goa back from the Portuguese. Why did it take so long and, and how did India win back Goa through an armed operation called Operation Vijay? Well, let me give you, you know, a brief insight into the history. So keep watching this video. See you on the other side of the clip. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications. Well, Goa, Daman and Diu with an area around 4,000 square kilometer and having at that time a population of about 6 lakh people that is 600,000 people comprising about you know 61% Hindus, 36.7% if I correctly remember Christians, mostly Catholic and 2.2% Muslims was primarily you know an agricultural based economy. Although the 1940s onwards saw a surge in mining in Goa area, mainly iron ore. In February 1950, the government of India asked the Portuguese government to open negotiations about the future of Portuguese colonies in India. Portugal maintained a legal argument that its territory on the Indian subcontinent was not a colony but part of metropolitan Portugal and hence its transfer was non-negotiable and that India had absolutely no right to this territory because the Republic of India did not exist at the time when Goa came under Portuguese rule. That was their legal argument. India, you know, retaliate, retaliated, beg your pardon, by withdrawing its diplomatic mission from Lisbon in 1953. There was a kind of lull between 1947 and 1953, I would say. Except a little bit of negotiation, persuasion. The next year, that is 1954, India introduced visa restrictions on travel from Goa to India, which, you know, literally paralyzed uh, you know, uh, transport between Goa and other Portuguese districts or colonies like Daman, Diu, uh, Dadar and uh, Nagar, Haveli. In August 1955, about 5,000 uh, unarmed Indian activist, activists attempted to enter Goa. But they were violently pushed back by Portuguese police officers causing some loss of lives. This carnage, you know, built public opinion in India against the presence of Portuguese in Goa, leading to India closing down its council office in, in, in Goa. Prime Minister of Portugal at that time, Mr. Salazar, you know, worried about India's suggested warnings for armed action against Portugal's presence in Goa, requested the United Kingdom to mediate. And then, objected through, you know, Brazil uh, and, and finally, you know, even asked the United Nations uh, Security Council to, to intervene. Uh, but, you know, nothing moved, nothing happened. The final straw in the chronology was the event of 24th November 19, 1961. When, when, when Sabarmati, a passenger boat passing between, you know, Portuguese held island of Engedive, uh, and the Indian port of Kochi was fired upon by the Portuguese ground troops, resulting in the death of, uh, you know, a passenger and, and injuries to other. Obviously, the Portuguese had fear 
and thought that the boat carried a military landing party with the intent on storming the island. The act truly provoked the Indians and on 18th December, the armed action under the code name Operation Vijay was carried out by the Indian armed forces in Goa. It involved air, sea and land strikes for over 36 hours and was a decisive victory for India, ending 451 years, yes, ending 451 years of rule by Portugal over its remaining uh, exclaves in India. The engagement of Operation you know, Vijay lasted two days and, and Goa was annexed and won back. Yes, it was won back. It was liberated. In India, this action is referred to as liberation of Goa. Whereas, you know, in Portugal, it is referred to as the invasion of Goa. That's quite natural. Well, following the end of Portuguese rule in 1961, Goa was placed under military administration and later in June in, uh, later in June 1962, uh, military rule was replaced by the civilian government, you know. So that's all I think I remember uh, for now. Hope you found this video talk informative and I'm you know, I hope to see you again with another set of uh, mentor talk. So until then, stay safe, good luck and goodbye.